Gratitude inflates good things. It makes bountiful harvests even bigger. It makes good wine great. It makes a flight to South Africa feel like a royal homecoming. It makes a phone call with a faraway loved one feel like a hug. It makes a simple salad taste like the very essence of well-being. It makes bare trees seem beautifully full of promise and makes longing read as thrilling anticipation. The Grendel means the latch in Dutch, and as the name suggests, the farm interlocks the space between two places. Standing among vineyards with Tigerberg behind you, a panoramic view of the land leading all the way up to Table Mountain is painted onto the blue ahead of you. People say you should live a day in someone else's shoes, mostly as a way of understanding what may hinder their strides. But getting to spend a day in someone else's home is better than wearing their shoes. To roam around free for a day as a welcomed imposter in someone else's story, to see how beautiful life may be from when they wake up and go to sleep. To walk around the Grendel is to visit a choir paradise, a sanctuary simultaneously just far and close enough to the city. Much like Napoleon's garden in Nice, a respite from the madness and mayhem beyond the gates. So David Graff bought the farm to Grendel in 1890. He was from a poor farming family in Filiersdorp herd boy who became a butcher at 11 and a butchery owner at 18. The butchery from which he grew the largest cold storage business in the southern hemisphere. He bought the farm for his horses, purebred Arabs from Argentina. They needed a place with more suitable climate for horses than fernwood, which was too wet, the vet said, to rest and gallop. He considered Musenberg first, but it had blue bottles that stung and it smelled of rotting seagrass. So, on his way home, northward, when he came across the Crendel, which was without sting and stink, it was an easy decision to stay.
In the home so David Croft built back then, in 1898, on your way to the breakfast table, you walk past photos of his son, second baronet, dancing with Queen Elizabeth at her 21st birthday party. Div, as he's known by those who knew and loved him, was an Oxford student, an advocate of the Supreme Court in South Africa, a war prisoner in Tobruk, Libya, a member of parliament, impeccably dressed, and the commoner who controversially danced with the royal princess without wearing gloves on the 21st of April 1947. When Div's family set sail for Europe, they took a cow on the ship with them so that they could have fresh de Grendel milk during the voyage. Like a more modern Noah in the Ark with much less animals aboard. Walking past a fridge or flipping a switch in the manor house here feels different. It makes a certain kind of light go on. Today, the Crendel is a carbon negative farm, fueled in part by the sun harnessed on a large on-site solar farm. While on the 13th of April 1895, when the Kraft family was to thank when the first electric street lights in Cape Town were switched on, we hadn't yet realized we could depend on the sun for a new kind of light and warmth, as we have for millennia before. The Rubaiyat is de Grendel's flagship wine. A Bordeaux-style blend debuted in 2006. Cabernet Sauvignon, Petit Bordeaux, Merlot, and Cabernet Franc, named after Omar Khayyam's collection of 1,000 Persian epigrammatic love poems from the 10th century. Each successive Rubaiyat vintage features a different quatrain from the poems on the label, taking poetry wherever the wine goes. Poetic wine and wine as poetry to celebrate birthdays, anniversaries or ordinary weekday dinners with, serving as reminders to take life one stanza at a time. Chaim's Rubaya tells many stories, but it mainly speaks of carpe diem or seizing the day. 1,000 four-line stanzas that reflect on nature and humanity he wrote, that puts forth arguments to enjoy the present moment and milk the little time we have here for all it's worth. After hours spent engaging with the little book of Carpe Diem poetry and its namesake red wine, it's irresistible not to conjure up your own set of four lines of reflection on nature and humanity gleaned from time spent with the farm and its people. One. You don't have to see it all at the start. When Sir David de Villiers Graaf first arrived and bought the land in 1890, how could he have known all that would become of the land? Trust time and process and the way that nature works. Look at a seed, but have faith for a vineyard. Two, you don't have to remain one thing. This farm started as a home for horses, then cattle, then sheep, and finally, wine. When allowed the freedom to evolve and become, life will find the shape it's supposed to take. Four generations in, it would seem the land at south, 33 degrees, 85 points and 14 minutes, and east, 18 degrees, 57 points and 16 minutes, 
has found its sweet spot in the overlap of pursuing excellence with the animals and wines it loves to life. Dare to try again. Tichrenel's 10,000 vines were destroyed by a plague in 1812 and would only be replanted 200 years later. No matter how long it takes, roll the dice again. And this, very importantly, also applies to learning to drink red wine. There's a time to work and a time to rest. After the day is done, grant yourself the time and space to reflect and enjoy the fruit of your labor. Have the audacity to marvel at the stories you're a part of. All good things take time and you might not be around for the harvest, but sow seeds you might not be around to drink from cook meals for people to enjoy around tables you won't sit at and enjoy what you're reaping with great gratitude for those who built, sowed, watered and believed before you did. May we never let familiarity rob us of our wonder. May we ever keep angling ourselves in different directions from the sun to cast shadows which put life in a new light. May we never be too embodied with the sense of habit that we do not explore or walk beyond the point where we've always decided to turn around. And may we never forget, as Chaim wrote, that all the good life really is, is a loaf of bread, a jug of wine, and you.